I am a cider drinker. I'm Farmer George and I'm helping you with these plain tips. This is part three, I don't know how many parts we're going to have this in. Uh, this is the overloader just driving away as we was at the end of part two. And you can clearly see as I was trying to mention back then that there are tracks in the ha harvest crop. You can see them in the distance anyway, where I come down from the uh, south of the field up to the north of the field and I'm driving across from the west to the east and uh, that's the overloader doing that if you had these big fat tyres running on your crop it would flatten it and I like mods like that where they behave normally even though it's destroying the crop if you drive on the crop with big fat tyres like that you will break the crop and damage it and crush it into the ground this is part of the overloader course where um, you actually set the course um, I've set it on that side of the road, you start it, um, drive a loop, stop next to your tipper wagon which you set in the first, you set that first and um, the tipper wagon is just on a sta start up and stop um, loop. With this overloader it stops and you set a weight point or you stop it and set a weight point with the pipe, the overloader pipe in the um, last third or last quarter of the tipper truck. Uh, when I drove this course of course I had those uh, 12 meter cutters on the ground and I drove round them and if I move them of course um, it won't make a difference but if I try and put them back I'm going to have to put them back in exactly the same place. The overloader will now sit there and you see that the uh, tipper truck has taken off up the side of the mountain um, the tipper truck just drives a straight loop. It goes right up the mountain, comes back and stops just before its start point. And um, it won't drive its course unless it is 40% full or so, so it must be 40% full. Um, the overloader will stop and wait if it's full at the wait point until the truck returns. Um, otherwise, if the truck is full, it will drive on. Uh, if if the truck if the overloader is empty, sorry, it will drive on and stop at its start point, ready for the harvester to call it again. Here's the sprayer. It's just finished spraying the um, first half of the field, and I jumped in it off camera and stopped it whilst we uh, come round to wanted to spray the second half. This is what I call my spray refill station, and I've created that with a tractor and two. Um, tankers of course. I send the tanker off to back to the farm to refill the uh, fertilizer canisters uh, tankers um, on alternate times whenever I jump into the uh, into the tractor that pulls them. Um, the other thing about that is I used to park between the two canisters and uh, that made it difficult to find out when it was empty if you didn't jump into the tractor that was pulling either of the two fertilizer um, tankers because if it once you filled it with the sprayer um, you the only time you'd know it run out if is if you had no none left and then you'd probably have to go with your spraying unit to the farm to fill that as well and I have a travel to course with the target to um, drive from the top of field two back to the farm and back again. This is showing you the fertilizer type is set and the course is called F2 spray northwest or two so this is the second part of the course and the working width is 28.5 on this self-propelled sprayer. The other thing you can see in this distance of this uh, is the generated course of the barrels markers and the um, we just press 7 on the keypad once you've got the course set and the um, self-propelled spray will just drive to the course, open its arms and then drive down to the point where it's meant to spray from. And uh, you can see in the distance, in fact you can see on the on the ground on the crop, on the left hand side as you're looking at it now, you'll see the shadow of the crop. Perhaps you can see it just faintly that has been sprayed. And in the distance you could see the road. Anyway, this is the end of part three and I'm just taking you through the aspects of working in this field. 